So this is just a quick video to show vMix in action as a digitizing tool. Um, of course, uh, vMix is going to need all sources to be digital. And if you're dealing with analog sources, you're going to have to get them into a digital format first. Our uh, tool of choice to do that is here in the rack. In this case, it's a uh, Leech DPS 575, uh, which takes, in this case, an S-Video source. We're coming out of a Super VHS deck right here. You can see it's an EP tape. And uh, we run it into the uh, time base corrector here. Uh, it's a professional level tool, obviously, which uh, is rack mountable. And uh, it does uh, a couple things, but uh, among them is it converts the S-Video signal into an SDI signal. And it's muxing audio on it as well. So the audio also needs to get fixed into the SDI uh, input, uh, or in, uh, I should say output from the uh, 575. So the analog output from that VHS deck comes into our Mackie mixer here. So we have the ability to gain up and uh, pan our sources to get us good levels coming into the uh, into the system. So that is uh, on Windows 11, uh, this particular instance. The good thing about vMix here is that on the source side, uh, you can have it show a uh, vector scope and waveform monitor in real time, which is great when you couple this with a time base corrector because you can make adjustments and ensure that you're not clipping and so forth. Um, in most cases, we try to stay true to the input levels and uh, in most cases they're going to be reasonably good because the auto gain cir circuitry in the uh, VHS and other consumer level equipment that these tapes would have been recorded on. So we're going up to 1080 and the way that we're doing that is through this decimator MDHX. So the SDI output from the 575 goes into the MDHX, and then that's where it's scaled from 525 lines, standard NTSC uh, interlaced, uh, and comes out 1080p progressive, which is key when you're going to a computer. That is then fed to the back of our little micro ATX computer case here, and that is the Blackmagic uh, video card right there. Deck link card, uh, and that's it. It's just the one connection, one cable for audio and video coming in. There are other great things about using vMix for your uh, for your uh, digitizing, and I'll show that to you on our other system over here. And this is uh, coming through a similar but more recent uh, SDI time base corrector made by the same company. DPS was bought by. Harris, which was, or Leech, I should say, which was then bought by Harris. So this is a little more uh, recent uh, time base corrector, and what we're doing here is it's also coming in as video, you can see, um, and and the audio is getting muxed in the exact same way. And instead of using a MDHX to go up to 1080, we're using a Terranex, which actually gives us a lot more capabilities: scaling, cropping, trimming frame rate conversions and so forth. Um, it just renders a slightly better result than what we get with the MDHX, although the MDHX does, for all intents and purposes, what you need it to do. Uh, this, on this, in this case, is coming out of our Panasonic AG1980 recorder. And this is probably the cream of the crop, absolute best VHS machine for digitizing because it handles both standard and long play tapes and super long play tapes, and it does so with its own time-based corrector. So we're actually time-based correcting this before it even gets into the uh, Harris deck. And this sucker locks up. I mean, we digitize static, no problem off of these. There's no blue screens on our digitizes. So the same thing is going on here where you see the uh, um, vector scope and waveform monitor on the source. 
And again, we're in a, uh, you know, originally gathered as standard definition four by three aspect ratio. Uh, now we're in uh, 16 by nine, so you'll see the pillar boxing on the sides there. But what it means is that instead of relying on your consumer level TV or, you know, even your computer to do the upscale, we're using professional level scalers to uh, take it out of interlaced and make it nice and progressive and everything works great. Now, what was the other benefit of the uh, vMix tool that we have is that you get a whole host of audio plug-in capabilities. So I'm gonna go over here and we can actually show this live in real time. I'm gonna click on our settings and that pulls up this dialog. And you'll see here, if I click on the audio settings box, you can see that we are actually running a filter on this. So I'm gonna go to the plugins and you'll see I'm running a denoise filter. That's because some of these uh, tapes that we're digitizing have some extra noise, machine hum, and so forth. And this is a VST3 plugin from Isotope, their RX9 series. I believe that's now RX10, but I don't know how much has substantially changed in the filtering. In either case, it works great, but it does introduce quite a bit of delay on the uh, source. So what we need to do is use vMix's incredibly powerful delay feature on the input. In this case, we are 49 frames out of sync. And vMix uses RAM to do the uh, delay. So it buffers the video into RAM to the number of frames that you specify. And then it will uh, allow you to, you know, just sort of eyeball it and get that audio into good lip sync with your source material. So that way you're able to run a real time uh, uh, noise reduction filter on your input while also keeping your audio in sync. So without vMix, it would require some pretty heavy duty uh, hardware, uh, esoteric stuff. And uh, instead we can do it all with just a Windows PC uh, with some extra accoutrement and hardware. So just thought I'd share how we do our digitizing here at E3 Media. If anybody out there needs to get their old tapes digitized, we handle a bunch of different formats from Betacam to digital Betacam to DV to Hi8 to uh, VHS, Super VHS. You pretty much name it, we can handle it except a few of the really oddball professional and outdated formats. So um, Give us a holler if we can help you out. It's uh, e3media.com. Thanks.